Hello everyone and welcome to Friday's Custom Ask or Diecast. Doing something a little bit different today. It's going to be a tutorial on a cool way to customize your diecast. And as you can see here, this is what I'm going to be showing you. Um, basically, how to make your diecast look like a short track car. Um, I'm sure many of you, if you watch, you know, any type of short track or any NASCAR short track race, you see that like the cars have the extra uh, brake duct area where they can get more air to the brakes because they use more brakes uh, in the front. And uh, I always like the way I always like those the way those cars look a lot better than like the normal cars without the brake ducts. And you can see what I'm talking about, just like the uh, the race part there. Let me get a focus here. Um, that's what that's the look I was going for here. You can see it pretty well in here. Uh, just that those little square parts. But I'm going to show you how to do that and customize other parts of your car. Like if you take this Jeff Gordon car. I did the uh, the uh, brake duct area and a, a piece of grill tape. Um, we got the brake duct area there. This is like just extra uh, tape. This is like a piece of tape that'd be on the grill of the car. Here's um, the roof laps, and I also did the side skirts with yellow to improve the look of the car. And you can take all this off, and it doesn't damage the car at all. What I use for this is just a piece of duct tape. You can get this from uh, any store. Uh, the brand name is called duct tape, and they have all sides of like colors. I just my brother had a uh, roll of this tape, so I've been using that, and this is good because it gives you the yellow and the uh, and the black. But I'll be showing you how to um, how to basically just customize your car like that. And as I said it doesn't damage your car, and you can take it off real easy. So today we will be. Uh, doing the uh, the duct tape stuff on Dale Jr.'s 2012 uh, Diamond Mountain Dew car, one of the few two 2012 diecasts I have. So, how I'm going to get started is you'll need a cutting board, a piece of duct tape, and an X Acto knife. First, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the duct tape into squares. I like doing the squares a little bit bigger than normal because it, it gives it a better effect, even though it is kind of a little unrealistic. But um, the first step is I'm going to cut uh, cut squares, and I'm just going to put them on there. It's really easy to put them on. You can just stick the, the tape on your like the edge of your X-Acto knife and just kind of real carefully just slip it on and push it down, and you'll be good. So when we come back, I'll have the uh, duct, duct tape on the front. Okay, so now the duct tape is on the front of the car. You can see the effect. It's not perfectly straight. Normal edge straight now, but... Since I'm making a video, I decided to hurry this up. Uh, so yeah, it looks pretty cool, and it uh, looks even better like if you're doing a stop motion. And like I said, this will not harm your car if you take it off. It won't peel off the paint. Uh, this isn't a very strong sticking duct tape. It's uh, pretty easy to take off and stuff. I also added a little piece of yellow tape over the air intake, and you can. There's several things you can do to like improve it. You could put duct tape over like the. Uh, the roof flaps, you could put a piece of grill tape, you could put more tape down here, maybe cover that up. Um, you can do the side skirts if you wanted to, these are already done, so there really wouldn't be any point. It's also good for like making damage. I think what I'll do now is show like if this car was damaged and how you can make it look uh, realistic. So now I've added a uh, piece of tape on the grill. It doesn't look the best on this car, but just showing you what you can do. And I added some pieces of tape to show you how you could make uh, resemble damage on the car. You can see one here, like on the fender. It looks like the bare bond they put on. There's another piece. And in the back, you can add some more right here. And it, it looks pretty realistic. It actually looks like the uh, bare bond. So that's pretty much everything you can do with a simple roll of duct tape to really customize your diecast car. As I said, my favorite one I've done is this Jeff Gordon one. I think it looks really, really cool. And uh, like I said, it won't hurt the die cast. And thanks for watching, everyone. This has been TRN. Hope this helps you customize your die cast. Again, not a not a car this week, but uh, a way to customize all your cars, really. So um, a bunch of ones. I've been kind of experimenting with some cars and doing them. So again, thanks for watching, everyone, and see you next week.